crazy news inside of the world of ALGS today. Alliance comes out and says Effect will not be playing on their roster just recently after the Esports World Cup. What happened? Why is this going on? And why is this the future, it seems, for Apex Esports? And a lot of esports out there. Also, other roster changes, roster updates, and some implications going into the LCQ and why these rosters might need to take a chill pill, slow down a little bit, and make sure you're reading the rules. Let's dive into all things rosters. Let's dive into all things ALGS Split two playoffs firstly alliance came out with a little bit of a roster update due to visa rejection effect will most likely unless they can get this thing resolved which it obviously seems unlikely or else they wouldn't be announcing this he will most likely be missing split two playoffs our emergency sub will be tyler fps you know we've seen tyler obviously a talented player you can't really replace effect though and so it is unfortunate alliance just coming off of the world cup win doing very solid inside of the pro league you don't want to be missing one of your top if not your best player on the roster and obviously one of the better controller players in the entire league in the entire game right now this is going to hit hard for them i personally will just be honest i do not think that they win or even come close to winning or even look near as good as they were without effect however i I'm not saying they're not going to be a talented roster to say the least. It just definitely sucks. And it's one of those things where it's like, it wasn't a decision that they made, right? They're having to just simply go with the flow. And this is the cards. This is the hand that has been dealt to them. So it, it sucks to see. And uh, I really wish that there were some, uh, you know, better ways to go about this stuff. However, Alliance, not the only team dealing with these issues. Dreamfire also having some of these issues. No name could not make it in time. According to 3MZ, the captain of Dreamfire's stream. Under the most optimistic situation, No Name will arrive in Germany on the last day of group stage. They now have invited Bolin as their substitute, who has already played scrims with them for the past two days. And of course, we know Bolin, right? Obviously a good player, not necessarily the end of the world. But No Name is, uh, you know, a single parent family and just becomes uh, became an adult as of recent. So this makes his visa application very difficult. A lot of things are transferring over and he's basically having to do, I guess, two big processes in life all at the same time. And it's making it go worse. And so therefore, if he does get there in time, it would only be on the last day of group stage so it's an unfortunate situation for them for sure and i hate to see visa issues go on because it's hard to judge a team especially alliance i go back to the alliance situation because this is not just a team that's decent this team just won the world cup how like you get so pumped up it's like yes emea is doing good their best team is going to be in full force how are they going to do at algs compared to falcons who just lost like you know and now all of that's gone because you're like uh you know yeah alliance they lost but it wasn't their team I hate feeling that way. I want every team to have their best. And I really, uh, I, I would love to see though, Tyler, obviously it's a good moment for him to, to prove his point as well as Bo Lin. Obviously they want to prove their, their case. And so I'm excited for them, uh, those as individual players. The team, however, I, I just wish that they could get the roster that they want. It sucks to have all of this happen. Reject Winnerty also, another news, just signs New J. Of course, New J was one of these teams in the APAC North region, had some early success with Split 2 uh, Pro League, dropped off a little bit, able to kind of find their way back as of recent though. And I do think Reject winnerty has been like in a whirlwind, right? Signing the Crazy Raccoon roster, had the old Crazy Raccoon roster, now the reject winnity is now crazy raccoon they swap rosters now they're going with new jay all kind of change has been happening over there also another thing to look into don obviously from nip posted that he would be the coach for space station temporarily he says i am not leaving nip or i have not left nip but I am coaching Space Station for the upcoming Split 2 LAN. Uh, you will likely see my players playing on other rosters just for LAN as well. Now, who knows where this is going to go? Uh, you know, interesting stuff to say. You know, my, my players, you'll likely see my players on other rosters at LAN as well. So God only knows what's going inside the, the brain of Don. This guy is an interesting breed, but one of my favorite people in the scene, to be honest. Also, Boom TV kind of announced the NIP roster. It was a little bit different than what we are normally expecting to see. It was Nasky, Amphi, and Surdell. The reunion of KCP back in action to some degree. Uh, I love seeing Surdell on the same team with Nasky. Nasky, and I remember Sardell back in the day. We used to uh, slightly kind of play with each other back in like season two, season one Apex when um, Mercy only and myself were playing. So it was really nice to see not only Mercy, but Sardell, obviously one of the top 
players in this game right now, especially considering the history. Uh, I doubt the guy even remembers me, which is crazy. I, it's just crazy to think about how long I've been in the scene and how irrelevant I still am, unfortunately. However, it is interesting to see this roster. You know, Zane obviously was always this question mark. He was gone for a while, came back, didn't get the result they were looking for. What's the next step? Don still listed as the coach for this one. So most of the boys still all together. Interested to see where uh, all of this stuff goes into the next couple of days. Now, not only are you seeing roster changes here, obviously a lot of these teams that are going into LCQ didn't make split one, split two, and they still have that last chance qualifier for champs. They are making some roster changes. We've seen a lot of this stuff inside of the challenger scene. Tech obviously having a good time since crypto has been in meta first, first and first and second in the last four LCQ scrim blocks. However, while everyone's making these roster changes for LCQ minus tempo did say, a lot of teams making these roster swaps for the upcoming LCQ, but here is a public service announcement. Uh, and basically, we're highlighting for LCQ teams seeding in the last chance qualifier will not be improved based on the addition of removal uh, to the competitors to the team. So just by making your roster changes, you're not going to get a better or worse seed, whatever. Uh, so competitors that leave their split to pro league roster following the final roster lock may not rejoin rosters for LCQ as well. So just make sure you read the rules. Um, but Kai did say, I'm pretty sure you can still lose points. So there's a lot of weird stuff, re weird rule like bins, I guess, or loopholes, workarounds. But he says that this means that a roster is locked to where they are LCQ seed wise regardless of whether you add slash remove players with a ton of challenger circuit points and obviously seeding is a really big factor going into this because you know with the way that the bracket works you want to be getting you want a better seed so that you can have an easier way to the finals and uh you know especially with apex a battle royale there are a lot of upsets that can happen in the quarterfinals round three i've even seen some really good teams that could win finals go out in round three or sometimes two just because weird stuff can happen if you get put in the lobby that's just very challenging and almost can feel like finals in round two so that that's why the seating is very very important and if you've been playing all year and you've got a lot of points accumulated then you should be doing solid now over the last couple of days as we approach this split two playoffs right a lot of these groups playing each other inside of the international scrims so let's rapid fire go through these top threes cloud nine space station nrg you've got moist esports falcon and liquid fanatic moist and nrg we've seen nrg and moist up there a lot tsm falcon and furia obviously falcons have been up there a lot as well falcons again up there with fanatic falcons north uh space station gig hao or hao really i don't know why i said gig luminosity up there as well so a lot of moist a lot of energy and of course a lot of falcons and space station as well so space station uh, doing pretty solid especially after a lackluster performance along with tsm at the esports world cup also playoff scrim pick rate so far the meta continues to be watson crypto bangalore as the majority watson is a little bit of an x factor you are seeing some fuse teams in there newcastle teams pathfinder by the way pathfinder winning the world cup something to mention i wish that i would see pathfinder more in the meta but bangalore crypto is a hard hard meta might as well even say watson it as well but I, i'm interested to see how this crypto thing goes out of course everybody is still saying you know especially all these big top pros that crypto is worse than seer it's the worst meta we've ever seen in the last four years it's just been really really bad so i'm interested to see how bad this continues to get with crypto or if people start to come around to it though uh, but you know you also got this coming up in the next couple of weeks a big tournament i don't think we're going to see any kind of major meta shifts or meta swings before this happens only thing you might see swinging are some couples over here in Germany because the rooms apparently are set up very awkward where it's a shower with friends set up. Kim Chi's already saying he's getting in the shower with all the boys. <laughs> Timmy is saying he's going to be loving up on Gildersons. So their love's about to go to the next level. Team chemistry is about to get very, very tight. And this is what we need for esports to flourish and thrive. Teams have got to be close outside of the game itself. Love this for the players. Of course, this is a weird setup. If you guys are from the EU, you got to tell me what's going on here. Why is this a thing? I have no idea. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below about all the roster updates, roster topics, and some of the rule sets and what team looks the best going into split two playoffs. Let us know down below. And until the next time, we will see you all later, Gators.